All right, I think we are back live again, two days in a row, and uh, I'm hoping that we get some people showing up here today to help me out with this setup. Uh, I've moved, I've moved some of my cameras around a little bit, just as an update from from yesterday. Uh, I will do one of these because hello to anyone that shows up. There you go. Um, so today uh, I've changed it a little bit. So this is the ZV-1 now up here. And it is using, again, the AV Matrix card from, from yesterday. Uh, and then we actually decided we're going to transition here to a camera this way. So you can kind of see like my screen and kind of the workspace that I'm kind of working on. Um, this, is, this is over here the ZV-1F. Uh, plugged in just with USB, so it's 720p. But because it's a wide shot, I really, I really don't think it matters. Now my hope is is that we get somebody possibly showing up today. I didn't give a lot of warning because uh, sadly uh, I was hoping to do this about an hour from now, but I have a work call from for a freelance job that I'm working on, uh, and. Uh, that's that's at two o'clock my time because it's one o'clock my time now. So, anyways, I had to push this forward. Not a lot of not a lot of uh, forewarning, but this is really uh, for for two things. I'll keep yapping for you know five ten minutes, and if someone shows up, cool. If no one shows up, that's cool too. I'll just go back and re-listen to this. This right now really is hopefully a test, and I'm hoping that this microphone is picking up. Hopefully, if I go closer and back, you can tell if this is the mic that's actually picking up, which it should be. As far as my inputs say, this should be the one that's getting everything. Um, but yesterday, in yesterday's video, we actually used this microphone as well. So, uh, issue was, is that uh, I had it cranked up i had it cranked all the way up so it was the the level was really up high uh, i think the level is really it's better now uh, i was testing a little bit this morning just to figure out if i could get where i thought it should be and i think this is a better better location um so that's that's the hope but this is this is it this is the zeal sound k66 and for those that watched this morning's uh video uh which we actually I think we filmed it probably about a week ago. Um, we had some people saying that it looks a lot like, uh, I can't remember one of the other big brands out there, their USB microphone. And yes, appearance-wise, 100% it does. It does look like it a lot. Uh, it's a, definitely a replica, like color and everything. But um, I would definitely have to say it's way lighter. The the build, Not that the build quality is bad by any means, but you know if you were to lift the two up and put them side by side, uh, physical appearance you'd say they look really close to each other but once you get your hands on them you'd be like oh no this one's this one's considerably lighter which i guess can be pluses and minuses i like a heavy mic it, for me maybe it's just it's something mental that i'm just like it makes me feel like it's got more quality to it i don't know if that's necessarily true at all but it, it feels that way um hey we got one person show up arafat hello Nice to see you. I'm not really seeing anybody. I, I find it. Do you find it funny when people are doing like lives and stuff like and, and videos where they're like, "Hey, it's nice to see you guys," and you're like, "You don't see me." No, no. So, uh, anyways, uh, my idea is this microphone. Now, I think my issue with this microphone right now is that its pickup pattern or its pickup maybe sensitivity is uh i don't know if it's like let's say it's high or it's low because you really have to have the mic as far as i could tell from doing some recording and then listening back to it when i was kind of making sure everything was set up this morning uh, was that you know if i kind of come over here you know where you're you kind of get relaxed because a lot of times when you're chatting with on on things like this i would think that you you do you get you get relaxed and you tend to tend to sit back right so um 
I think you kind of really have to be in this range and your ability to fluctuate your own volume can be really difficult because uh, what I found yesterday, just listening back to the live that we did yesterday in regards to the cheap versus expensive capture cards was that, you know, when I was kind of talking at a normal volume, uh, it was good. But the moment I started really picking up and like getting like excited and starting to really amplify a little bit, she really started to peak a lot and it really started to distort. Now, I don't know if that's a part and parcel with uh, OBS Studio or it doesn't, I don't think it has like an auto gain feature. Uh, if anybody knows if it has an auto gain feature, please let me know down below because I don't, I don't know. Uh, I will definitely try to hunt out for it just to see if that's a thing. But like you really have to maintain your placement, I think, with this mic and you really have to make sure that you are, um, like distance wise, right? You can kind of see on the side view that I'm constantly kind of sitting back here or forward so that you can, uh, you can hear me, right? Not that you couldn't hear me, I don't think before, but again, if I kind of fade back here and just kind of relax, you can kind of see the distance from the mic. Now I don't know, I'm talking, I'm hopefully I'm talking at the same tone, right? And, and now I think the audio probably dips a lot a fair bit uh yeah, yesterday they both sounded fine yeah they they sounded okay but there definitely was some uh i found at least there definitely was some clipping uh like it would go not that it went staticky but you can tell that it, there was just too much volume either coming into the mic or obs was getting too much of it of input volume so it was kind of peaking a little bit uh I think I think um, I think there's going to be like we're testing we're going to be testing a whole bunch of mics in the next little little while. So anywhere from uh, I got a, a mic it's a it's an XLR mic that comes with its own like little Phantom Power solo box they call it so that you can kind of control the volume and everything from it which I kind of kind of like and it's an XLR mic which may mean that it's uh, Quality wise, maybe a little better. I'm not 100% sure, but possibly. Um, I'm also testing uh, a headset, right? So it's it's actually really nice. It's a set of monitors. So a set of monitors with a microphone on it. Uh, I believe it's actually made by a company called ModMic. And these were, or this, they, they actually sent me out for one of their little ModMic add ons, which I actually really like. I use it actually a lot. Um, but this one is, it comes with its own set of monitors. So uh, I'm going to figure out if I can hook that in. And uh, depending on, I think, how long, you know, you're doing a live for, I think if you're doing a live for, you know, 15 minutes, half an hour, something like that, this, this could be really good because you've got all kinds of ability to move because your mic is like, it's just always on your face, right? So that you can spin around and you can talk and you can, come over here and you can do whatever. And if you're playing a game or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see how that works. Uh, during my pre-recorded review of it, again, which you'll see in a couple days, um, the sound that came out of it was fantastic, really good. But again, it's headset, right? It's a headset. Um, and sometimes, sometimes, you know, you just, you're not in a mood to wear something like that because it does tie you down a little bit for sure. Um, we're also testing out uh, a mic that I used to use, and it's kind of uh, on my on my main setup back there. It's uh, it's basically the exact same shotgun mic that I use over there, but the one over there is battery powered, uh, at, whereas the one I'll be using here to test. But I need to find like a mic stand or something. Um, that one that one needs phantom power so luckily because this company that sent the other mic for testing comes with a box that supplies phantom power i may actually use the two of them kind of together right i'm noticing quite a bit of popping when you say certain words i wonder if an additional filter on the front would help to reduce that yeah it, it could very well like this this microphone doesn't come with like a pop filter or anything like that 
Um, so that could definitely be something. And even here, like reading the monitors, I wonder if I turn if I turn it down just a tad, possibly, maybe, maybe that does that help at all, possibly, um, because you know we're, we're definitely trying to test. And again, this is what I find with maybe a mic like this one that you know you're in and out all the time. You know, it's definitely louder now, and then it's definitely quieter back here, and definitely louder here. Uh, the more, the more you get excited, and you kind of lean into the microphone. Um, you may have had really good volume settings for me sitting up this way. Again, if you look at my distance, you can kind of see the distance that I have from my mouth to here. But if you've got it all set up and adjusted for this distance, and then of course you lean forward and start talking at the same volume, now everything's too loud, right? So uh, it's it's just it's a weird thing with microphones, you know. And I think possibly I think um, having a very budget friendly microphone probably has a bit more or more limitations in what kind of uh, well, you were saying here, like Kevin was saying, like like uh, like filters, right, or like a pop filter. Some more expensive ones probably have that ability and in, built into the mic to be able to look for those kind of, you know, audio signals that are coming through and kind of help pull them back. Would be my guess. Uh, what is this? Alan Jones, hi from Belfast City Airport, waiting for a flight to Heathrow. <laughs> Thank you for your journey of live streaming. Oh well, you're welcome, and. Uh, I hope your flight to Heathrow is uneventful, uneventful because uh, I've only been in the Heathrow airport once, twice, once, once, twice, um, and both times were very uneventful, so it's good, but I do know that that, that airport can definitely uh, have some issues, possibly, uh, waiting for a flight but you're waiting for a flight to Heathrow so never mind you are in Belfast right now so I don't know what the airport's there I'm taking it that Heathrow is home maybe home or are you are you going there for vacation and Belfast is home maybe I'm asking too many questions I don't know um but I wanted to this is something I wanted to uh kind of show you guys too is a little sneak peek because again I'm uh I did this this live a little early today because I have a phone call with a company uh, that I do freelance work for. Um, but uh, one of the things that I kind of wanted to play around with was, not that I want to be a, a video game streamer, right? Major lost luggage issues in Heathrow. Yeah, I think that's, that's everywhere. Before I just completely just switch over to the side um that's everywhere I, like we've traveled not a lot this year but a fair bit and every airport we kind of go into like a fairly major airport there's just hundreds and hundreds of pieces of luggage just sitting out in the middle of nowhere like they're just off to the side here's here's the, it's seven planes worth of luggage and I, it's just like I don't, I don't i don't know i'm a belfast boy heading over for a visit well oh, that's exciting i'd like to i'd like to go to both places actually one day, one day for sure. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, so uh, one of the things that my hope is, again, uh, you know, if if boredom kind of kicks in sometimes, and just for playing around, I think it would be fun. And again, I'm not a huge video gamer, even though I've been playing more games in the last little bit than I've normally played, um, because for some some odd reason, um, I'm from Belfast, Maine. Ah, so you're actually Belfast, Maine. That's that's close to me. I'm actually going through uh, Maine this summer when uh, we go to Laconia. Yeah, going to Laconia, good old New Hampshire. Uh, anyways, uh, I keep getting off topic. I am looking at doing some of this. Check it. I have this, and you guys can see possibly over over here. Right, this is my my TV. It's my TV over here. And if I do this, this is my hope. Ready? You guys will be the first. It's my first test ever. Watch it not work. Now, I don't know if the audio is going to come through, so I'm going to show it to you, and the hope is that it works. Ready? And here we go. Click. Did it come through? Yep. See this? Check this out. It's my Xbox. 
Oh yes. So now I can possibly do some game streaming. You know what? Why? I don't know. I have no idea. It just seems like it would be a fun thing to do. <laughs> what is this? Uh, do you have a clue why my Ethernet connection won't work anymore? It's broken. I, uh, drivers? Uh, Mac or Windows? Again, if you're on Windows, then I, if when things don't work on my machine, I have no idea. I literally reboot, and if that doesn't fix it, then uh, I don't use it anymore. <laughs> On my Mac, I'm a, I'm a little bit more adept. But as far as I know, on a Windows computer, my guess would be could be cable. The cable could be just hooched. Could be the computer. Could be a driver conflict. It could be uh, all kinds of stuff. Um, that's just for me knowing Windows 20 years ago. Uh, I don't I don't know much now. Do you have your Xbox connected to your TV in your office? So, uh, you may, again, I'll, I'll spin this camera around, ready? I'll spin this camera around. So we'll go back to, which camera am I going to? I'm going to this one, this camera here. So this is my Xbox right here. This is my Xbox. Now, we have a bunch of Xboxes in the house because I've, I've been an Xbox, I love Xboxes and I've had Xboxes since the original Xbox came out. So this is just an Xbox One S. So it's not a series, it's just a 1S. Um, and because, uh, um, I just wanted to start with this because I'm only capturing in 1080 anyway, so I figured why not, and it's a good test. But I do have, I do have, I'll switch back here, I do have uh, an Xbox One, no, sorry, an Xbox Series X in, in the room behind me, which is actually where I shoot my other videos. And in those videos, sometimes you'll see there's a television behind me, behind me, and actually to my right, uh, there or left, what you see, uh, there's a couch, and that that's where I play the majority of my games. I sit there and I I can kind of zone out. It's like my little man cave, and I uh, play games and just kind of just do my thing, right? Uh, but um, everything for streaming is in here. <laughs> And I really don't want to have to disconnect that Xbox and bring it in here to stream every once in a while because the setup out there is just way nicer, right? I got a couch, uh, I got a coffee table, I got uh, a bigger TV, I got a full like 5.1 surround sound system. Uh, you know, it's 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 better. So I like I like playing games out there. It's really immersive i guess right now we're playing me and a friend of mine are playing gears the gears series or gears gears of war we've played one two three four uh we're probably about a quarter of the way through five right now and uh then we'll go back and play the uh the weird that weird offset judgment or whatever it was called anyways uh what was this i watched a 20 plus year old game on twitch played by 20 year olds so go for it well that's that's kind of my thought i'm like you know what everybody is playing like the new new games on new consoles or new computers right and i was like you know what um i'm i'm gonna play uh new games old games whatever games that i maybe i would just suck at them there's a really good chance i'm gonna suck at them so it could be one of these things where you know i play for half an hour and i'm just like okay I'm not good at this, but whatever. Maybe it'll be enjoyable for everybody watching how bad I'm at games, which is is fair. I don't. That's good. Rick, salutations from Quebec City. Uh, sound is good. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. I was in Quebec City a couple of years ago. Beautiful city, especially old Quebec. Lovely, lovely, lovely area. Uh, and I can't remember what the big waterfall th area is, but we went there super nice as well uh yeah that's I, I like i think i honestly i think i like quebec city and if anybody's from montreal i say this and i'm sorry but i think i like quebec city better than montreal it's just i don't know it just feels more feels more authentic i think possibly coming from someone that you know lived in ontario and nova scotia and alberta maybe i don't know uh, you should try playing Minecraft. I have tried it. I'm not good at it. I don't have the patience for sitting and trying to build something. 
I actually like something that's very linear, right? I, I, I like having a, you're starting at point A and the objective is to do X. The objective is to get to point B. And if you have to blow up a whole bunch of stuff on the way, all the better. So I like that and I like driving games. So uh, I like, I'm a big fan of For Forza, Forza 5, Forza. I'm a real big fan, but I can't remember the name of it, right? I'm old, so leave me alone. Um, I like in a city that is very warm. <laughs> yeah, I too would like that. Uh, doesn't matter if you suck or not, people will watch. Keep the chat. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's my goal. I'm going to just be the annoying old guy playing games. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, so I'm actually going to do a stream later on today after my phone call. So I'm going to do a game stream, and the, the the purpose of it, for one, is to make sure everything's working, that the capture cards are working fine, and that the, the system doesn't heat up and things fail on me 20 minutes in, because at that point in time, I'll have a whole bunch of capture cards going. Two is that I'd love to try, and this is, I think, a... Maybe a, maybe a little bit of a market, maybe, possibly, is uh, new games coming out and playing them on old consoles, right? Not old consoles, but like the Xbox One, because, you know, we always see these new games and the graphics are like, wow, that's really awesome. But, but what about the, you know, 70 or 80 percent of the population that doesn't have new consoles? And they're like, well, what is it like on an old console? And I'll be like, I'll show you what it is. And maybe I'll just be like, we're going to play it for 20 minutes or until I die. And at that point in time, you've seen enough. You've seen enough, you know. Uh, Quebec City versus Montreal, Canada versus Nordique back in time. Even if you're not good at playing a game, you will at least know how good you are. Well, the thing is, is I don't care how good I am. I know I'm not great, but I have been surprised with uh, Gears of War, and I do have a PlayStation, so I've been playing. Uh, I have been playing God of War, Gears, Gears of War, and God of War. I, it seems to have a parallel there, and I, uh, I finished, you know, Gears, no God of War four, and I'm now playing Ragnarok, so I can't be completely horrible at it. Hopefully when you come back on, I'll be in London pub drinking a pint and eating pizza. I'll watch. <laughs> that sounds nice. Well, if you're just leaving, how long a flight is it? That's the question. And what does Kevin say? I should start streaming my original Nintendo and see what happens. I wonder if people would watch my wife kick my butt at Mario Brothers. Yeah, probably. And Diablo 4 is coming. I know. That one is good. You know, it's funny. You talk about Diablo. So I just, sorry, I bought Diablo 3, but I bought them late because, you know, when you're not a big gamer, which I'm kind of more so becoming one now, um, when games first come out and, you know, they're in, in Canada, they're like, you know, 80, 90, 100 bucks. That's a, that's a big pill to swallow, right? You're just like, I don't, I don't want to do that, right? One hour flight. Oh, that's not bad. Um, but... <sighs> So, so I bought Diablo 3 when everybody else had played it. So I, I never finished it because I wanted to play it with other people. And there was no other people to play it with because everybody had finished it already. So that, I was like, oh. And then Diablo 2, the, the, the re, when they redid it, re-released it for, uh, you know, it's revamped. Uh, I bought that. And I think I've played less of that. So that was awesome. That was a good investment. Good thing I bought it for like $15. Uh, and then, and then Diablo 4. So I may actually get Diablo 4 because I have to talk to the, the couple guys that I'm, I play, play online with. If they get it, then it's worth it, right? Then I'll be like, okay, then it's a game to play. Um, and I also want to, I downloaded, well, I bought, my daughter and I both, we went 50-50. We bought Hogwarts, the Harry Potter game, and, uh, she's finished it already. Uh, I have not. I'm barely through the training section. But that is another game that I think once it actually does get released on the older consoles, if and when that ever happens, then uh, that would be a good one to kind of show off because there's a lot of people that are interested in it, right? But maybe you're like, it's 90 bucks. I don't, I don't want to pay 90 bucks for that if it's not good. So kind of cool. You should do one of these live streams of you gaming every day. Well, you know what? 
it's a possibility, but it all depends on timing, right? It's it's a this part is not hard because you just start and go. Um, but when I have to film the other things for the gear that comes out, and uh, again, I am doing some freelance work, so sometimes that kind of takes place, and you know, there's four or five hours of that, then time becomes an issue. But I do think I would like to do it more often, even if it's playing, you know, I'm playing uh, with somebody and we're streaming it. I think that would be cool too. Um, I'm going to leave you guys there because again, this has just been, it was supposed to be just a test of the microphone and you guys so far have said that the mic sounds good. Now I, as a, just as so you guys are aware, one of the comments in this morning's video in regards to the zeal sound was that it sounded really echoey. And I, I don't know if the person had skipped over the fact that I, there's an echo button here. Ready? I'm going to turn the echo on. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Echo. So now it's got this weird echo on it. And I'm sure you guys are hearing it with the echo. Uh, and that's, I had no idea what echo was. But I think, I think there, you know, people that are recording actually turns things like that on if they want it to sound like they're in a big room, right? If they're recording like singing or something, maybe they want a little bit of echo, maybe not to that extreme. But uh, that that's why that sounded that way this morning. Um, what am I seeing here? You could do a live stream of your gaming at least once a week. Once a week, for sure. I'm going to do that for sure. And it may possibly be more. Yes, you could do a walkthrough chat of the Hogwarts game. Now, I'm not saying I'm doing a walkthrough. Oh, no, because I don't know if I'll ever finish it. I'll never play it, but could be interested in finding out more. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll uh, invite my daughter down, and she can do a walkthrough for you guys because she's played it. She's finished it already on uh, the Xbox. She has, a, she has a Series S, so she's played it and finished it on that. So maybe I'll get her to come and play that for you guys. I'll, we'll, we'll both chat and she can record. I think she'd be down for that. And you guys could could meet her. Yeah, that would be good. All right, my friends, I think that's it. I, I try not to have these go too much longer than about a half an hour. And I think right now we're coming in at about 28 minutes. Um, for those of you that joined, I appreciate it. Again, this was a kind of a last minute uh, live because of the fact that I was expecting to do this half an hour from now, but uh, this this call came up that I had to get on uh, that kind of threw my schedule around. Anyways, for those of you that are around in about an hour or so, uh, I will try to do a live stream of me playing a game. Uh, what game is it? I don't know. I'll pick one and we'll play the first 15, 20 minutes. Again, one of the big things for me is it's a test to see how the computer handles that kind of stream, if it can actually capture in 60p, uh, if there's much lag, etc., etc. Cool. We may see you guys then. Um, for those of you that are flying, <laughs> uh, I hope you have a fantastic and safe flight. Uh, for those of you that are sitting at home like me, enjoy your day, and uh, we'll see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys maybe this afternoon. Uh, if not, I don't think I have a live that I have planned for tomorrow unless we play some games. All right, my friends, I will see you guys in a bit. And uh, again, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you tomorrow. Later. <laughs>